W1VLF. Hey everybody, Paul W1VLF here. I wanted to do a quick comparison between two antennas. It seems like everybody and their brother has a log antenna or a loop on the ground antenna. So you can go back and, and look for uh, all that information um, on the web. I think it's KK5YL. I'm not 100% sure, but he's, he's I think, responsible for the, uh, the first one. Anyhow, I decided to try it and see just in my particular situation, okay? So I have, that's a, a proviso here is this is in my particular situation. So let me describe the, the uh, log first, the loop on the ground. It's uh, essentially 15 feet on a side in a diamond shape. Uh, it's fed in, in the corner closest to the house. That antenna is approximately uh, maybe a, a hundred or so feet away from where I'm from the uh, shack here. And there's a feed line that comes in. It's fed with a uh, uh, nine to one transformer, standard binocular core, three turns on the primary. Um, uh, no. I forget. Anyway, the ratio was was nine to one um, for the trans for the uh, feed transformer standard, just run of the mill stuff, right? With a binocular BN seventy three dash two hundred two core. <clears throat> um, this antenna is literally laying on the ground, as you would expect with a a log or a loop on the ground. And I wanted to show you the difference between this and um, the dipole. So let me talk about the dipole for a second. So we know where we're, where we're coming from. The dipole stretches between the tower and a tree, and it's about, uh, the center of it's probably 90 or 100. One end's 120 feet, the center's probably 90 feet up, and the other end is about um, maybe 80 feet up. Uh, fed in the middle with open wire feed, and it's t you, I use a tuner to uh, match it here in the shack. So, okay, blah, 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 right? Um, and it's, orientated uh northeast uh well no it's nor it's or it's northeast southwest so it's broadside northwest southeast uh although i don't i don't know how much difference that really makes so anyhow what you're watching here is um the dipole antenna and i'm going to turn it on oh one other one thing i wanted to mention the primary noise source here the primary noise source is the solar panel, uh, the solar power array. Uh, and you can see these, I'll, I'll, I'll brighten these up a little bit. Let's see here, brighten it up. And you can see uh, the noise that's generated by the solar panel system, both from the uh, solar optimizers and also from the main inverter. So I'm listening to a station, CFRB in Canada, uh, and it has a 6.070 megahertz uh, translator. And they use it to uh, feed, uh, you know, signals uh, to the, uh, you know, northwest or into places that are not as populated and wouldn't be able to support a full-time shortwave radio. So the mother station is 1010 in Canada, in Toronto, uh, about 350 miles away making this at 2.15 in the afternoon, so not prime time by any means for shortwave signals in the 6 to 7 megahertz band. Absorption's pretty high. Uh, and this is a 1 kilowatt transmitter. So let's take a quick listen to uh, what this sounds like. This is using the dipole that's close to the house, uh, up relatively high for close-in work like this, and close to the uh, solar panel system. So here we go. And you can see in the center of the screen a tiny little carrier. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to this is the A antenna. Remember, this is the dipole. And the B antenna is the log on the ground. Uh, as I described earlier, there's also 20 dB gain uh, preamp uh, in, in front of it. And I'm using the uh, SDR Play uh, DX. So let me switch to the local, or excuse me, the antenna that I use for local. Right. 
Now the antenna is 100, 125 feet or so away, so physically remoted from, from the, uh, the noise source, which is this, the solar panel system. A lone wolf, a survivalist, an investigator, Justin Harper. And this holds true for uh, 40 meters and also down to 60 meters. We interrupt this commercial break for an important news focus. Uh, at a quiet location where everyone in its path. You had no noise to start out with. I couldn't tell you how much better it was. Uh, Dejardin insurance is helping Canadians through it all. Promoting your antenna. We'll go back to dipole close to us. Never before have we. Uh, this this is dipole. It's tuned right now, matched for this frequency. Um, and it's receiving quite a bit of signal. Unfortunately, it's all noise. So let me switch back again to uh, the loop on the ground. For your workplace issues, go to employmentlawyer.ca. Find out if you should receive a termination package you from your employer and calculate uh, how much severance you are legally owed. You'll see that it's it's almost an NVIS antenna. It's, everything is pretty much straight work like so. Do a couple of quick swaps back and forth. Yes, you can hear it. Shut up, and we'll be done with uh, our daily dose of uh, media. Until now, we call it unhibernate, as in while your neighbors stay home. You'll be back to the hibernating all winter in your Subaru. The loop antenna. The loop on the ground. Expanding their technology. Each week, technology columnist, author, and TV personality Mark Saltzman break down geek speak. Okay, here's here's one more test that I'm going to do, uh, and that is we're going to stay with the loop on the ground. Excuse me, with the dipole, and I'm going to go over and shut off the the main noise source, which is the solar power system. And so now you'll be in a, a, a relatively less noise situation. Let me try that. Hang on one second. Okay, so you can see that the primary noise source right here is gone. So now we're, we're talking about sky and high angle versus low angle. Sky so I'm going to do a couple more steps around the dipole. Switching to the lock. Yes, the loop on that. Good. Luckily, a highly trained, licensed inner care technician can get your lawn. furnace fixed fast. And what we quote is what you say. Switching to the diving. And right now, get a free diagnostic checkup at $99 diving. Your furnace fixed right. Back on the lawn. Inner care. This uh, antenna makes it listening to shortwave frequencies it's a trip so to the much better. For a quick Anyhow, attention. if you're interested in this sort of family stuff, doctor. subscribe to my channel and... Uh, Hit me with a comment or questions. This is W1VLF. Signing off.